Istanbul is a very large city, with one foot in Asia and one foot in Europe. Its history stretches back through the Ottoman Empire, the Roman Empire, and the ancient Greeks to the original settlement of Byzantium over 2,600 years ago. 13 million people now jostle for space in these busy streets. Taking an audio-guided bus tour is a great way to explore the many different neighborhoods of this city, especially if the weather is cool and rainy. One magnificent sight is the Bosphorus Bridge, which connects the European side of Istanbul to the Asian side. From this bridge, you'll get a great view of the Bosphorus Strait, which has long been a site of strategic importance. One stop we made on our bus tour was at the Dome of Bachi Palace. We arrived just in time to see the changing of the guard ceremony. Push! 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 Inside the grounds, we took a tour of the palace, which housed the Ottoman government between 1856 and 1922. Built in a classical European style, this was where Mustafa Kemal Ataturk the founder of the Republic of Turkey, died in 1938. Another way to see the city is by taking a cruise on the Bosphorus Strait. From the water, you can see the Hagia Sophia, the Topkapi Palace, walls of the ancient city, several mosques, and a water's eye view of the Bosphorus Bridge. The main historical sites of Istanbul can be found in the Sultan Ahmet, or the Old City. Here we are at the Blue Mosque. Completed in 1616, it remains in use by Muslim worshippers today. Visitors are allowed entrance while prayers are not going on. Its nickname comes from the thousands of blue tiles that adorn the walls inside. Four massive pillars hold up the main dome that is 140 feet or 43 meters high. Smaller domes and stained glass windows add further to the beauty of this mosque. Right next to the Blue Mosque, you'll find the Hagia Sophia, the most extraordinary structure in Istanbul. Completed in 537 AD by the Roman Emperor Justinian, it was first an Eastern Orthodox Basilica. In 1453, when the Ottoman Turks conquered Constantinople, it was converted into a mosque. Muslims added four minarets, a mirab to show the direction of Mecca, and a minbar, or pulpit. In 1931, the building was closed to the public and reopened as a museum in 1935. Hanging high on the walls, you will see 19th century Ottoman calligraphy plates measuring 25 feet or seven and a half meters in diameter. The main dome stands 182 and a half feet or 55.6 meters high and is flanked by four cherubs whose faces were covered by the Ottomans. One face is now visible again. On the second floor are several preserved mosaics from the Christian period, including this one, featuring the Virgin Mary, Jesus Christ, and John the Baptist. You can definitely spend a lot of time inside this building, soaking up its long history and enjoying the many beautiful details. Just a short walk will bring you to another fascinating site, the Topkapi Palace, the primary residence of Ottoman sultans between 1465 and 1856. After picking up audio guides, we explored the harem, the place where the sultan kept up to 300 concubines. Several rooms, with walls covered in beautiful tiles, are open to the public. Here, you can imagine what life was like during the time of Ottoman rule. I found the stained glass windows and tile work here to be both artistically and geometrically dazzling. The palace grounds have four courts, each ringed by buildings. Amazingly, the kitchen here could once serve up to 5,000 people. And if you have patience, you can stand in line to see the treasury. The Ottoman rulers definitely live in a luxurious palace. Outside the Topkapi Palace are three museums. The Museum of the Ancient Orient, 
the tiled kiosk, and the archaeology museum, full of ancient artifacts like Babylonian lions, beautiful blue vases, and massive sarcophagi. Also in this area, you can find the remains of the Hippodrome, a former space used for chariot races. There is even an Egyptian obelisk that was carved 3,500 years ago. Istanbul is definitely a fascinating city with a very long and interesting history.